Now I'm filming this bit after I've actually made the video, but I should have mentioned this in the video. There's no ceramic cartridges or anything like that to rinse out or replace. It, this is a real proper long-term solution for you know good quality well perfect quality drinking water in emergency situations and disaster zones it's not it's not like one of these life straws you know that only has like a, a certain a very poor lifespan and then you've got to back flush them and all this sort of crap this is so easy to clean so easy to maintain produces a nation of water and is well I mean it is the preferred choice of the likes of UNICEF WHO Basically, the people who go in, the NGOs who go into these disaster zones, fair enough. Sometimes they may have caused the disasters, but they're there to mop up as well. So, you know, when the UN goes in, they'll take boatloads of these filters, they'll distribute them. So at the very least, the people have clean drinking water. And that is exceptionally important because most people will die through poor quality drinking water, parasites, you know, all sorts of waterborne diseases. If you can cut that out, you've got a real good chance, you know? You've got a very good chance of surviving. You don't need much food to live on, but you need clean water. And the clean water side of things is so important. You know, I mean, I, there's a lot of people call me a prepper, which I suppose I am, you know? I, I've got extensive vegetable gardens I've got the solar so we can go off grid greenhouse but the most important part of my preparations beyond a shadow of a doubt are these water filters because without clean water none of the other stuff matters hi there welcome back hopefully the wind won't mess this video up because it is pretty windy um, but today I'm going to show you both of the filters that we do for ensuring that you have clean water in the event of an emergency. Now this is the first one, this one is classed as a family filter. I extensively covered this in another video which I'll link to in the video description and also in the pinned comment. But just, you know, to show that this fella is still working, I'm going to put him in here, pump some dirty water out make it into clean water and then drink it and then we'll get on to the main star of the show which is the community filter which i haven't shown you yet whatever water comes out of this pond is what i'll be drinking after of course it's been through the filter First thing I do is just give it a few pumps until the pressure builds up. It'll then purge itself. It's close to doing it, I can feel it building up. There it goes. Let's clean that out now. I'm going to slide this back. See the water starts coming out. However, I'm not going to drink the first few litres of water. I'm going to let that pump out. Just to be sure that whatever was left in here from its previous use is rinsed out. Then we've got a glass. Hopefully you can see that. Yep, good. Just look at that, perfectly clean, 
Just for comparison, I'll fill another glass up straight out the pond so you can compare the two. Hopefully you can see the difference there. Obviously this is the dirty one. Doesn't look too bad in there actually when you're looking through it, but it is really green in the pond as you can see behind me. And that one, perfectly clear. Perfectly drinkable as well, no taste, no smell, nothing. You'd think that had just come out of a tap and out of a tap without chlorinates and fluoride and all that sort of crap in. Out of a good tap or out of a mountain stream, that is really clean. However, I won't be drinking this one because I've got a load of fish in here. There's crayfish, there's all sorts falling in it. Drinking that might not necessarily be instant death, but it certainly wouldn't do you any good. So let's get rid of that. That's it, just clean that out, ready for next time. So, anybody interested in this, please check out the, the, the long video where I pumped all sorts of filthy water through this and drank it. Check out the website if you're interested in buying them. I'll put the link in the video description and in the pinned comment. And if you're watching on a device where you can't bring that up or you don't know how to find that, the website is filterpro.co.uk and I'll put that along the bottom now. Okay. So, this is the one that you're tuning in to see, really, because this one hasn't been shown before. And it's a bit of a monster. Now, this one is classed as the community filter. And it'll actually deliver around about 300 litres of water, clean drinking water, per hour. Which is a hell of a lot of water. You know, you tend to get this one used in schools, uh, doctors' clinics, uh, shanty towns. Anywhere where there's been a disaster or for whatever reason there's no drinkable water around or the water that is there isn't particularly good for the folks who are living around that area this would be placed in you know, the doctor's surgery or in a school or whatever you'd have one or two guys you know feeding it with water and pumping the handle and then you just have people lining up to get their drinks or have the water bottles filled to last them for the rest of the day that's not to say, of course, that you can't use this one for just a single family, of course you can. But really it is overkill when you've got this little lad available which will easily produce enough drinking water for one, two, three, four, five families, you know, in, in a local area. But if you want to aim a little bit bigger, this is the one to go for. In case anybody's wondering about the instructions of how to use it, it does have stickers on the top and also on the side about how to use it, how to clean it, and also how to maintain it to keep it working long term. It has been designed with long term use in mind. So basically to fire it up, we just put the end with a strainer in, into the pond or into the bucket. Actually, I think I'll just put it into the pond directly. Save me using that bucket. The other pipe, which is that one, is where your waste water comes out of. This little pipe here is where your clean water comes out of. So, to use it, you would just open that valve, like so, start pumping the handle. And then when the water started coming out of this end, with the red marker on, your waste pipe, it's ready then to dispense clean water, so you would close that, Open that, continue pumping the handle, and then clean water comes out of here, which will be perfectly drinkable. So the end with the strainer goes into the contaminated water source, which in this case is my pond. Waste pipe can go anywhere, you know, if you're in a town or something, it could go down your drain, or it could just tip out onto the street. It doesn't really matter, it's just waste water. I'll put it going back into the pond. In fact, no, I think I'll have it here so I can show you that there actually is water coming out of it at some point and then because clean water is going to be dispensed out of here I'll put the glass here right that's a bit better 
So, first thing is to make sure that the unit inside here is clean and that it's flushed out. So that means opening that valve, pumping the handle, that'll draw water into the unit. And by the time it's filled it and started coming out the other end, I'll be able to start pumping clean water. I can feel the pressure building up in it now. And I can hear water starting to come out. There we go. <laughs> so that's the water we don't want to drink. That is the waste water. Clean water will be stored in here. And when I shut that valve off and open this valve, it'll start coming out when I pump the handle. Because I've got more or less an endless water supply in the pond, I'll just keep pumping this for 30 seconds or so just to be 100% sure that anything that may be stuck inside the filter has either been washed out or retained in the filters and the only perfectly clean water is coming out. Let's see what this is like now. Hopefully you can see that it's coming out a hell of a lot faster than it did in that little filter. Again, that's absolutely sparkling clean. No smells. No taste. Just perfectly drinkable water. Perfect. I'll just show you the top and I'll run through the measures that I took to make sure that this was pumping clean water. So initially, that tap is off, that tap is on. So it's in the cleaning function. When we pump the handle, oh, there we go. The wastewater starts coming out of there. And as soon as it does, it's ready to dispense the clean water. And when it's ready to dispense the clean water, we simply close that valve, open that valve, and the water will start coming out of here into the glass when we pump the handle. <laughs> you can see how windy it is, the water's getting blown away. <laughs> but some of it's going in the glass. <laughs> And that's it, there's a, you know, a reasonably big glass full already. And they weren't even full pumps. It's pretty awkward to hold the camera and do that in one go, but uh, there we go. Look at that. Perfectly clean water. And then once a day, just to make sure that this thing's cleaned out, ready for the next use. You know, after pumping thousands of litres of water during the day for our whole community, we simply close both valves, pump this three times. One, two, three. Open this valve. See, water starts coming out of here now. And then we do a further eight pumps. Well, I've lost count, that's probably six maybe, seven, eight, and one for luck. There we go, now it's ready for use the next day. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you is the box that the community filter comes in. Check this out. 
comes in like a proper hard box for storage and you can stack these on top of each other as well that's an added bonus yeah so there you go two very serious water filters and if you have a camper van or more likely if you're just worried about the water supply going off if there's no electric or the Russians uh, the Russians hack the internet or anything like that um, you know this is just a really good thing to fall back on you can literally pump water out of a puddle out of a river pond lake anything behind me here we've got a supply of water which will service thousands and thousands of people this big fella will be able to produce enough water to ensure that everybody in my local area doesn't get waterborne diseases because that is the major killer in any sort of emergency and if you just want to look after yourself and your family this little family filter is the way to go which one you choose basically just depends on how many people you want to safeguard a clean supply of water for thanks for watching check out the links in the video description and also in the pinned comment i'll put the link to the website on the bottom there again and if there's anything else you need to know just phone me again my number is on the bottom it's also in the pinned comment and in the video description thanks for watching i shall see you in the next video i'm not sure what that's going to be about probably won't be on water filters but the next one on these water filters that i do will probably be stripping them both down to give them a really deep clean and that is very very simple it has to be simple because the last thing you want is somebody not to understand instructions and then resort to drinking out of a monkey pond i won't be doing that and i don't want you guys out there to be doing that either thanks for watching see you next time